Hey, Geek Protagonist. Uh, sorry for the slowdown on the vids. Uh, yesterday, I got busy with a migraine. Usually, I, like I tell you guys, I try to at least do two a day throughout the week or, you know, make up for it or whatever. And uh, my whole day got derailed. Even today, I got crazy busy, you know, work and stuff, and I got out, like, stupid late. Uh, like literally like uh, two hours late and that was just making sure I got stuff done but I did come across a thing today about uh, people are trying to cancel Matt Damon and I felt I wanted to talk about it hold up go ahead little squirrel uh, you're a baby squirrel too squirrels are awesome I don't care what anybody says um so from what I understand he, even though the statement, it's weird because he's like, basically he's deleting the word in England that is a cigarette. <laughs> uh, but I will call it what we call it in America, the actual true definition of the word before it became a slur, a uh, bundle of sticks. Uh, but he means it in a derogatory way. So what happens is, is that Matt Damon, I guess he did some interview, which you'll, you'll see. I, I took some captures of his statements, but basically he did a joke from, from what I'm understanding with the story from his movie way back in 2003, I think it was stuck on you. And when he did it, he said it to his daughter and used the the, the bundle of sticks term and she got upset and she went into her room like she got up from the table went into her room and he did the you know oh come on it's just a joke it's just a joke and the thing is is that she wrote a, a letter to him a, a long letter and you know it was an intelligent way to like let out her feelings about how what he said actually hurts people and how it's not cool that he said something because that's derogatory to the you know letter community and in doing so he said that you know he's retiring that word from his vocabulary and that uh he never used it towards a letter you know community person but he has said it because that was part of his language when, you know, he was growing up in Boston. And he said that now that he's, you know, his daughter, he was very impressed and very happy that his daughter for social justice uh, took such a, you know, like a, a approach to it and really showed like a passion for equality and all these different things. Now, he was just like saying it the way, you know, how, how it was. Now, did he need to necessarily say all that and put himself out there? No, but he did. And he said that he actually learned, he learned a lesson from his kid, which can happen. Kids sometimes can teach you some stuff. And people all of a sudden as were are now upset and trying to cancel him and i seen someone say something too where they were like haha his daughter canceled him first and everyone else so his daughter's awesome but he's terrible i'm like no he said a thing that what he was growing up with the the trick is is that people are like yeah so we need to cancel him we need to ruin his career cancel him and everything and i'm like so this is the problem with this cancel thing that I'm seeing with the Matt Damon thing, getting to the point. He's saying that he did something wrong and he actually is learning from it. And because he's learning from it, he's basically saying he's evolving into a better person because of it. Now, there's people who are like, oh, come on, it's 2021. You should know by now. I'm like, 
no behind closed doors the rock said this a while ago and from people that i know to people that i've been around uh, me and my friend have talked about it rock said behind closed doors everybody is a little bit prejudiced is a little bit racist now there have been slurs I've heard people say. Heck, even when black people use the N-word, even when they're like, oh, you know, we took it back and blah, 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 blah. And we put the A on the end, not the, not with the, you know, ER. But even so, that's still, even though we're using it in another way, that's still a derogatory term. When people hear that word, it's still there. Now you can say, yeah, you're taking it back, but you're, you're still using it. The best way to get rid of that word would be to kill it. Now I'm not saying anyone's wrong if you know if they're using it or whatever, I'm just using it as a base point. Basically, people can change. And sometimes it takes a child, love, significance. Uh, it, it takes something sometimes to get that person to realize. You'd be surprised how many times I've I've seen medical things or money mortgage and all types of stuff or people were homeless or sickness where they don't care about it as much until it happens to someone they love or someone or them themselves once that happens it makes them think differently Kurt Angle did started the whole tough on the engine thing because of his father before that Kurt Angle didn't speak about Angina like that that's what I mean like you, you gotta you gotta take these things into consideration so to him, it's always normal speak. That means when he goes to Boston and he talks to people or does whatever, that's normal speak. What he's saying is, is that he's trying to break that habit. Now you can sit there and go, oh, that's wrong. But think about how many things you may do that's a habit that's bad, that's wrong. But the fact that he's trying to fix it, I don't think a person who literally is like, yeah, I'm I'm being better. I'm trying to be better because I now understand that what I was doing, even though I did not mean it derogatorily by me saying it is wrong. And people are like, cancel him. That's not the person you cancel. You cancel the person that you find out did something crazy. Like, even though I don't, I hate to throw him out there, EDP with the whole kids thing. That's different. <laughs> but somebody who's like, wow, you know, maybe I am being a little prejudiced or maybe I am doing this and I've done it myself where self-reflection is a huge factor and you have to give people a chance to fix it, especially when they're saying, hey, you know what? This is, I'm better for this. Some people are like, why did he even say something? I think he said something because he was impressed with what his daughter did. Like he, the way he talks about it, like I said, you'll see it on the screen. I'll keep him on there long enough. He's impressed with his daughter that she did that. She stepped up. She was like, no, that's not cool to her father. And she did it in such a way that he could register it and how she wrote a letter. I'm just saying like, maybe instead of always trying to quickly cancel somebody, when it's something of, hey, I now know this is a bad behavior. I understand because it's it hit me close to home. I'm going to fix this behavior. Give them some props. Like, hey, bro, you know, it's messed up that you did it. But at least, you, you know, now, you know, going forward, this is cool. Like, this is your you can fix this. This ain't cool. That's all I had to say. I, I This whole cancel every person every time you don't like something. But then yet you'll see what people do. Everybody makes mistakes. You got to weigh out when to cancel and that's why I don't like the cancel culture thing because it's like as soon as someone says something wrong, people are immediately ready to cancel them. I mean, heck, people are trying to cancel the the, the rivet because she looks like a, a curvy woman. And, you know, you can't have that nowadays, I guess. So, just saying, I just thought that was interesting. I don't know what you guys think, but Matt Damon being canceled from anything I've understand, he's ever seemed like a good guy overall. He just, you know, used some language that's not in today's standards that was cool back in the 90s. And he just, you know, he has to adjust his language. Tell me what you think. Geek protagonist, you stay safe, you stay healthy, you stay real. Got some more stuff coming at you, and I'll see you.